The highest I went this off season was 400 milligrams. I think he's taking double, triple, if not quadruple that amount in his off season. Anywhere between 13 and 1600 nanograms per deciliter in terms of my blood work numbers. And they're claiming they're on TRT. I bet this dude is taking way more juice than majority of the people combined at Zoo Culture. Which helps me keep my heart healthy. You have these individuals like this idiot, 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 idiot. Are you ready for a video? Oh, this is a good boy, huh? All right, Barry. So today we're gonna to be talking about Eric Janicki, but something worse than a fake natural. It dawned on me recently that not only in this industry do you need to worry about people photoshopping pictures, being fake naturals, which for those of you who are new and don't know what fake naturals are, it's someone that claims to have achieved their physique naturally without the use or assistance of performance enhancing you know what. And then they say they did it all naturally for who knows what reason, but accompanied with the Photoshop, the fake weights, and everything else you need to worry about in this industry. Nowadays, you need to worry about fake dosages. Testosterone, the highest I went this off season was 400 milligrams a week. That puts me at about anywhere between 13 and 1600 nanograms per deciliter in terms of my blood work numbers, which helps me keep my heart healthy. This dude, Eric, I've seen a couple of his videos pop up and I believe he trains at Zoo Culture or something, which should really answer a lot of our questions is right there. But he says that in his off season, he takes 400 milligrams. I'm gonna assume weekly of testosterone. I'm also gonna assume either that's a cypionate or enanthate, could be propionate. But regardless, 400 milligrams, a week. And then he says he does it, it goes and does his blood work and it puts him in the range of the 1300 to 1600 nanograms per deciliter. Just to put this out there for you guys who aren't familiar with doing your blood work, TRT cycles, compounds and everything out there. Just me for instance, okay? Now every individual is gonna be a little bit different and I am on TRT 200 milligrams a week, which is a higher dose testosterone replacement therapy. For those of you that did not know, most people aren't prescribed that. Some people are prescribed up to 250. That's the highest I've seen myself, which I was prescribed, but I dropped it myself back down to 200, but that's a story for a whole nother time, right? The point I'm getting at is my nanogram per deciliter level while being at 200 milligrams per week of testosterone cypionate, not taking anything else. I am above 1600 nanograms per deciliter in my blood work, in my lab work, whatever way you want to phrase it. So somehow me, and I'm a much smaller dude. He has a better physique than me. He's bigger than me. I am somehow ranking in a higher level than he is at 200 milligrams of testosterone when he is taking 400 milligrams. Now, what his reason for doing this is, I have no idea. Same thing with the fake naturals. We can only guess and assume why people lie about what they do. My guess is maybe they don't want to be discredited or they want to make it seem like they have hyper responder genetics and that they're better than the average population out there or even the elite population out there because they're taking these smaller cycles but they have these Mr. Olympia like IFBB pro physiques and it's just not the truth. The point I really want to nail home is these individuals are taking crazy cycles way more than you think. Yes you're going to have individuals who respond better than others. You're going to have people who have just way superior genetics but it doesn't mean they're running these minuscule tiny cycles. It just means that they're able to achieve more with their cycles. So this guy saying that he's on 400 milligrams in his off season, that might potentially be true, but I think <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Okay. Because that's what I do on this channel. I think he's taking double, triple, if not quadruple that amount in his off season. And then accompany that testosterone with other compounds, whether that's DECA. I believe in this uh, little video, he talked about Primo and some other compounds. Primo bone, I think is one of the most like efficacious performance enhancing drugs on the market right now. It has like very low body toxicity. It's going to give you very sustained gains. I think it, it's not as exciting as let's say a trend balloon, right? You take trend and you feel like fucking Superman. People are taking way more than you think they are taking. And the sad part is a lot of people don't actually label TRT what it is intended for, which is testosterone replacement therapy. A lot of people associate TRT with the context of a cycle now because you have these individuals like this idiot, Eric Janiki, whatever the hell his name is. You have individuals like that. They're saying they're doing like TRT or TRT like results on their lab work while they're taking these hardcore cycles. And then the people that are actually on TRT, like myself or other individuals out there for health purposes, whether that's improved sex drive, better mental clarity, better sleep, the list goes on and on just for an overall health standpoint, not to be a bodybuilder, not to be hardcore jacked, just to feel optimal and feel like you should as a male, as a healthy, male. That is what TRT is. But you have these influencers who are taking these hardcore cycles who are now saying they're on, oh, I'm on TRT, bro. Or, or you know, I'll go do a, yo, are you natty or not? Oh, I'm on, I'm just on TRT, testosterone. But here in lo and behold, you check their lab work or you find out what they're actually doing. They're on like damn near 800 milligrams of test a week, if not like two grams of total gear a week. And they're claiming they're on 
TRT. So I just really wanted to rant on this because I saw this video and it's just, I know there's people watching these like podcast clips or watching him speak and because he says he's doing a healthy approach and oh, at least he's not lying about, he's not saying he's natural. Oh, he must be doing something right because he's not lying about that. But just because you don't lie about one thing doesn't mean you're not gonna lie about the next thing. And especially when you're in the fitness industry, he knows he would be called out about being a fake natty if he was to claim natural. So then what's the next step that people do is they become fake dosagers. And that's really the trend I've been seeing lately, unfortunately. And hopefully we can turn that around and get it spinned in the right direction because I bet this dude is taking way more juice than majority of the people combined at Zoo Culture. I'm gonna be honest. Barry, you got anything you have to say? Yeah, it's a good boy. All right, Barry wants to say, Eric Janiki, if you want to reveal your true cycle, go ahead in a response video. I'll be waiting. I can have you on the podcast if you would like. Barry can be the co-host, and we'll get down to the bottom, you know, of the fake dosagers.